Okay, so this is my DOI DGG printer. Um, I'll go over it, it's a little bit um, clunky at the moment because I'm still trying to work it out. Um, but um, you can get the general sense of what we got here. Um, I've got the platinum um, draw runners and uh, made it adjustable with this screw here and there's, a, there's another screw there. That, that way I can then, if I come around to the front, I can then get it to sit correctly on the uh, drive bar here, uh, which works quite nicely. Um, I've got a uh, continuous ink system that I, I've put in. Uh, the inks are here, I've covered it in foil because uh, you're not meant to subject it, subject it to, direct, to direct light. Um, what else? Um, yes, the um, PE sensor, um, it's probably not the best place to pull it, but I put it there because it was easy for me to uh, to get to and I could move it where I want to at the end. But the basic idea was that um, you were able to pull the drawer back and the uh, this here will go in between the sensor. And then the um, and then this top platen will be uh, where it needs to be. I haven't actually fix this pattern to anything yet. If you see here I can I can take it out. I've got just some normal these go onto the bottom of kitchen cabinets and you can twist them. The idea was I could put them on there and adjust the um, height of the of the pattern where it, where whenever I needed it to go. And then once I'm happy it's in the right place I can um, fix it. Um, so let me just put that where I I've drawn some marks underneath where it typically goes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, and I'll turn it on and see, I'll show you what it's doing. Okay, so uh, I think it will give me the typical two orange light error when I turn it on. Uh, so let's see if that does that. Okay, there you go. You see the two orange lights flashing. Um, okay, so this this I've worked out that if it wasn't quite so bright, I don't I don't get this error. I, I think it has to do with the fact that the sensors or the PW sensor in the, under the print head detects the you know if there's something in there or not, and and the, the amount of ambient light affects it. But the way I've got around it, well, first I'll show you. I got around it. But I, I painted this black, hoping it would have the same effect. It's a very clunky thing, but um, if I get this is the um, this is the original uh, unit that went under the heads. If I put this back in and turn it on and turn it off, the um, the orange light goes away. So let me do that quickly. Um, turn it off. I'll just put the camera down. Okay. Now I'll put this in place. Okay, that's now in place and turn back on. So now you can see I'm I'm holding it in place. There you go, solid green light. Okay, so the printer is now ready. Um, uh, one thing I didn't mention is that uh, I actually accidentally broke the uh, the PE sensor um, here when I was messing around with it, and you can see it's broken. Um, but I kind of substituted it for, and it works quite well, a uh, 10 ohm resistor, as such. I uh, basically found that the leg that's in there at the moment is um, it's, it's around about 3 volts, 3.3 volts and I found that a 10 ohm resistor pulls the, I think the tolerances are 
uh, 0.4 volts to something like 2.4 2.5 volts so when I put that resistor in it pulls the voltage down on that on that line to, to something like 0 0.3 so it's the same it does exactly the same as what the PE sensor does all I got to do is push the other end of that resistor into um, into that middle middle section so um, if I position this um, I'll position it up where I'll position it because I know that the, the flag would, would have been in the middle of that sensor um, I'll just check that the draw that the platen is where I wanted it to be I've basically got this to work before um, and um, it's worked fine but sometimes it, it's flaky sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, that's a that's a view of the um, that's a view of where the uh, tray sits let me put a bit of paper in there okay so I've got a bit of paper in there at the moment um, and we've got a green solid light um, I've got uh, I'm using EK print I don't know if you can see this on here but I've got the, um, the printer set up I've got two options I've got the the EK rip for the 1900 or the, the default um, uh, print driver that comes with a printer I've used this because that's how I've got it to work before. Um, in the um, ink settings, I've basically set it to. We got four channel inks there, so because I've got four inks on the continuous ink system, so it's it's the set to the YMCK and YMCK. I I think I believe I've set. Um, yeah, I've read that in this bi-directional print needs to be turned off, and I've got the printer set to roll mode. I've had it working on roll, roll mode before, um, so I'm going to leave it as that. So um, all I'm going to do to test that it works, I'm just going to go to the ink settings and do utilities and do a print head alignment and it should print something out. Um, so the USB cable is set. Um, I need to get the, I'll need to engage the PE sensor once, uh, as soon as the pattern starts moving, um, I, I engage this uh, to let you know that paper's in, paper's in there. And what you'll do is, that pin head will be moving out slightly and when I engage the piece on it it will stop and you'll see that um, so that I know that it's recognized the uh, papers there and what used to happen is the head would come across and the tray would move out a little bit more the, the head will go to the middle and then you'll see the tray going backwards and forwards uh, whilst the the PW sensor tries to sense the end of the paper and it would it would sense the end of the paper and start printing exactly where it should do uh, but what happens now is that um, it, it, it seems to go along, it doesn't find the edge of the paper even though it's trying to find it and then um, it sort of spits the tray out further than it should do then it sort of prints a line and then, then says it's finished or I get an error saying uh, on here uh, which is a uh, flashing orange or a solid orange um, so I'll start the motion now and I'll show you what it does So the platen started moving, I tripped the PE sensor, the head's going through its motions. It would have tried to find the end of the, the paper by now. Okay, there you go, I've got an orange flashing light. It's a bit hit and miss really. Uh, you can see the head going back, the tray going back there, look like it was trying to find the end. Um, I think sometimes I get an orange flashing light or a solid flashing, uh, solid orange light. And sometimes I've had it where it will print one line, the head plant will move, it'll print one line, and the plant will move a bit more, and then it just stops. And then the, the orange light goes solid, and that's it. It, it, it doesn't finish off printing anymore. Um, but as I said, I've got it the print before, but I've just found it so hit and miss. I haven't been able to fix anything down yet because I haven't been able to get it to consistently uh, do what it needs to do. 
Um, okay, so that's it. Thanks. Bye.